Today I'm going to share my keto supplements, the supplements that I take while I'm on the keto diet, so keep watching, all that's coming up now. Hi, it's Jolene from Yummy Inspirations. I share three new videos every week, so consider subscribing to join the Yummy Inspirations community. I am currently on the keto diet, the low carb keto diet, um, so I share meal ideas and food hauls and grocery shopping and all kinds of things, what I eat in a day, all kinds of things to do with the low carb keto way of life. And today I'm sharing with you the supplements that I take while I am on the keto diet. Um, but first, very importantly, a disclaimer. I am not a medical practitioner. I am not a health practitioner. I have just been doing my own research and I've spoken with my own health team to decide what I'm going to take for supplements and I suggest you do the same. I am going to be sharing today what I take. You can make a note of them and speak to your health professional and find what suits you. This is definitely not a prescription. This isn't the be all and end all. This is what I've been doing. So let's just get straight into what I am taking while I'm on the keto diet. Okay, I'm going to start with macro supplementation. So, um, you've got your macros a day, um, you can work that out in the keto calculator, I'll leave a link down below if you haven't already. Um, and so if you're struggling to meet your macros, namely protein and fat, there's a couple of things you can take to help you along the way. Let's start with some good fats, and you can get that from either coconut oil, or MCT oil. Um, both of them are really good nourishing fats that will definitely help you get over your fat limit if you are counting your fats as well. Um, so how do you take these oils? And Well, you could put them into coffee. A lot of people do that, have bulletproof coffee with some MCT oil in it. You could make smoothies and pop a teaspoon in. Um, it's also Coconut oil is great for cooking, so you could cook with it as well. Um, there's loads of uses. My tip, my suggestion is if you've never taken either of these products before, start with a teeny teaspoon or even half a teaspoon um, and see how you go. I have found I needed to very slowly work my way into MCT oil because um, I get really like awful tummy cramps with it. So um, definitely ease into them. That's why there's only a little bit used from this bottle. I'm kind of still finding my way, finding how to use it in my diet without it causing pain. So definitely um, if you prefer to stick to coconut oil, I just like to try everything. So I've got both of them. Um, so that's kind of how I supplement my fats. Um, I'll pop it more than likely is I'll pop a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of coconut oil into a smoothie when I make it just to supplement my fats. Um, so that's fats and next we're going to move on to protein. Now of course when you think protein, you think protein powder and I have got found this one to be delicious because protein powder can have a bit of an interesting flavour to it, can't it? Premium powders, performance nutrition, um, per, per or per serve, it's got one gram of carbs, 0.6 of sugars, and 27.5 grams of protein. So a scoop of this into a smoothie and it will definitely help you towards meeting your protein um, macros for the day. Um, but just as with everything else, have a read of the nutrition label, read very carefully and watch out for added sugars and strange and weird and wonderful flavorings and ingredients you can't pronounce. Um, this is a whey protein isolate. We really, um, my husband and I researched it to find one that was just as pure and natural as possible. And I don't take it every, other, every day. That's another thing about all of these supplements. I don't take all of these supplements every day. I don't even take any supplements some days. It really depends on my day. I see what my what am I eating is for the day. If I find towards the end of the day I'm going to be nowhere near my protein count, I stick a scoop of this into a smoothie and there you go. Um, with the other supplements I'm going to talk you through, some I haven't even taken yet and I have and I'll explain them as I go and some I may have taken a handful of times. It really depends. All right, let's just keep on moving and we're going to talk probiotics. I feel like my hair is getting crazier and crazier as the video progresses. That's the problem with frizzy hair. Okay, I apologize. 
let's move on. Okay, on to immunity. And I suppose with hair it is kind of related because a couple of these are good for um, hair and nail health. Um, so these are a couple of supplements that I take depending on the situation going on. Um, first of all being is vitamin, vitamin D. Um, in Melbourne, we can have a whole lot of grey days and a whole lot of sunny days. So when we have a whole lot of grey days in a row, I will supplement with vitamin D when I can't go out and get some natural sunshine. It's not often that I do this. Um, it just depends and when I remember to do it, if I'm honest. Um, but some good vitamin D. I actually, in the last year or so, have developed a sun allergy. Yep, a comp we live, I live in Australia and I am allergic to the sun. I break out in hives and a rash. I've been to dermatologists and doctors and a skin specialist and they've pretty much just said supplement with vitamin D, stay out of the sun as much as possible. So, I, yeah, that's, that's the first one. And these other two, now, um, I think I've mentioned it in a previous video, my husband is a qualified osteopath and naturopath and so we have access to um, practitioner only supplements but you could go to your own practitioner and get ones just like this. So this is what I take as probiotics, Ultra Flora Restore. It's a high potency probiotic capsule. Uh, again, I don't take them every day. I know I probably should with a lot of these but I, I, I do believe in trying to get as much from food as possible and when that's not possible from food or from the environment in the case of vitamin D I like to supplement when need be so um, the last couple of weeks my kids have had colds colds have been going around so I have been keeping up with my probiotics and this one which is a meta zinc with vitamin C that's a vitamin C powder that is really high in, oh my goodness, yeah, magnesium, potassium, more potassium, zinc, it's just awesome for keeping up vitamin C in addition to the probiotics and then we've got the vitamin D there as well. So those are what I kind of take for immune boosting and um, vitamin D when needed and let's just keep rolling on with our keto supplements. Now, this is one that I haven't quite taken yet, but I want to explain it to you. Psyllium husk. <laughs> it um, isn't too pretty looking, but um, when you're on the keto diet, your n intake of fiber can be low if you're not careful with it. So I do my absolute utmost to make sure I get heaps of leafy greens and mushrooms and other high fiber and um, vegetables. So I don't need to supplement, but I've got this in case I need it or my husband needs it to help keep you regular. Um, <laughs> or if you're feeling that you need a bit of, a bit more fiber, it's just pretty much pure fiber. And when I do take this, I'm just gonna add a teaspoon into smoothies as I would coconut oil. Um, or mix it through some plain natural yogurt. Again, with yogurt, check the um, nutrition label to make sure it's not high in carbs. Um, that's what I may do with this when the time, if the time comes, hopefully I won't. Otherwise, I might just add it to smoothies for nutrition as I go. So that is that one, and we're almost at the end, just a couple more to go. Okay, need a big hand for this one. All right, so now we're talking electrolytes. Calm X, again, this is a practitioner one, calming and acidity support for stress, <laughs> pineapple flavor. Now I use this especially in the beginning because this is loaded with magnesium, potassium, um, more potassium, glutamine. It um, is great in the beginning if you're finding keto flu to try and get a hold of a supplement that's got magnesium and potassium in it. Again, speak to your health professional. Um, so this one I found really helped keep me on top in the beginning. I did still suffer, but I feel that this definitely helped get me through it a lot quicker. In addition to having a couple of salt supplements, first off light salt, which I found about through a couple of keto groups, um, it's 50% less sodium. Now sodium on the keto diet you want to increase, but this has also got potassium. Some people find a teaspoon or half a teaspoon or so of this, read, speak to your health professional, um, can help alleviate a lot of the initial headaches and feeling blah feeling. Just having a little bit of that, who, who would have thought just a bit of salt. So in the beginning I did have this, I haven't really used it so much anymore, I don't really feel the need for it, but if I start feeling that icky feeling, I'll definitely be reaching for the light salt, because it's 50% potassium and 50% sodium. And my final supplement, 
<laughs> it might sound like a strange one, but I take this as a supplement is stock cubes. Yes, veggie stock cubes because of the sodium in it. I'll have a cup of this. So it's got, um, oh, I've got inside. It's got, I've already cut one open. It's got little um, stock cubes. I've cut this one in half. So what I do is I cut it in half and then I stick it into cut it in half and I'll stick it into a mug and pour over water it's a lovely drink and I feel amazing afterwards and it, um, it's just full of good sodium but check ingredients very carefully a lot of them add a lot of the ingredients add sugar to so the and all kinds of weird and wonderful this is an organic one I found at my lo local health food shop it's really just got sea salt shea butter vegetables and like a few other ingredients and there's like no carbs in it and it's 20 no seven calories per whole cube and I have a half a cube so that is kind of my sodium supplement just go to easy as I said I like to try and be as natural as possible so those are the supplements that I take. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video full of keto, low carb supplements. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I share three new videos every week and I share interesting keto, low carb videos, recipes, meal ideas, all that kind of thing. So subscribe and join the Yummy Inspirations community. And I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a comment. Are you on the keto, low carb diet? What are your go-to supplements? Inspire us, let me know. I look forward to reading them and we'll see you again soon. Bye.